Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Toe. In today's video, I will be sharing and talking about a very cool looking, very unorthodox looking microphone called the Need Worker B microphone. Here's the review. Alright, there is some buzz over this microphone. Buzz, <laughs> get it? And there are a lot of reviews uh, done on this mic all over the internet which says that this mic is really good. And it doesn't cost a bomb, it only costs like SGD 140 to 150. So it's considerably a very affordable mic. And the entire theme, if you have not noticed at all, the black and the yellow, some sort of like a bumblebee B looking design. That is not very surprising at all because if you were to look at the box that it comes with, it is also crazy ridiculous. I mean, take a look at this. Okay, on the sides and the front, there is some sort of like this honeycomb cutout. And on top, which is the lid of the box, you can also see a lady, what I would assume is wearing a beekeeping outfit and the color theme, yellow, black, bumblebee-like. And the entire unboxing experience is really out of this world. If you look inside, there is this velvety plastic layer where the mic is inserted. Inside, you can find the mic, the shock mount, a rather cool looking one, and a very, again, cool looking, interesting documentation with some guides and tips. Now, what I love about the guide is that the topics, the design, again, they are staying really true to their entire beekeeping theme and that is just way too cool. And this is one of the very few times which I actually enjoy reading a user guide, a product guide, and it's just super weird. And coming back to focus on the star of the show, which is the mic itself. Firstly, this mic is a condenser mic, so it does need phantom power to function. It has a cardioid polar pattern, meaning it takes in audio coming from the front and tries to reject audio from the sides as well as the back. And we will definitely put that to the test. Later on, I'll be probably demoing on how good the polar pattern is. The other thing to point out is that it has a max sound pressure level or SPL of 145 uh, dB. Uh, this is considerably quite high for a condenser mic because condenser mic usually they have very low SPL and this is one of the higher ones that I've seen so far. In fact, it is higher than if you were to compare it with the Rode NT1. So it's again, Super impressive. Okay, I think it is high time now that we test out the audio quality coming from this mic. Let's go. So what I will be doing is to connect this to my Rodecaster Pro and I'll turn off all audio processing. So whatever audio that you will be hearing next will be all raw. I'm not going to do any post processing on it, no editing. I might just turn up the levels of the mic so that everything remains consistent. Also later on, we'll be doing a comparison of this mic together with uh, some of the other condenser mics that I own. I don't own that much condenser mic, but I think we can do a pretty decent job of comparing this mic to my other condenser mics just to give you guys an idea of how it sounds like. Also, at this point of time, you might want to put on your headphones or your earphones because if you're just listening from the speaker, it might not do any justice because you really want to hear what the differences are. There's a lot of nuances on the frequencies and putting on a pair of headphones or earphones uh, will definitely help. Okay, so I have switched the microphone to the Need Worker B. Uh, this is again plugged into the Rodecaster Pro and from now on, whatever audio that you are hearing comes straight from the Need Worker B. It's no longer the Shure SM7B mic that I was using just now. This one, nope, don't like you right now. Go away. We'll be focusing on this one. Don't get jealous. All right, I am about two inches from the mic right now. And this is probably a very optimal distance if you are talking into a condenser mic. Let me do a reading test and see how the audio is. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. Uh -huh, if you know where that comes from, comment down below. One of the most basic uh, differences, if you were to compare a condenser mic to a dynamic mic, something like the Shure SM7B, is that a condenser mic is a lot more sensitive. So, meaning it will pick up more sounds, all your mouth clicks, your snap 
of your finger or something dropped at the back. Now, because the polar pattern is cardioid, which means it picks everything from the front. So anything, any sounds that goes off from this space, this will probably pick it up very well. Something to note. Okay, right now, let's test out how well the cardioid pattern rejects the noise from the sides as well as the back. So again, I am about two inches from the front of the mic. I am just going to slowly turn. Now it is about 90 degrees away from my mouth and I am speaking onto the sides of the mic. And we'll turn another time and this is 180 degrees away from my mouth at where we first began. And then turning again, this is again 90 degrees angle away from the actual orientation of the mic. And now we are at back to the front. So that's how well it rejects noise. So right now I am very, very close to the mic. This is how the proximity effect will sound like if you were to put your mouth really, really close to the mic. If you want to sound better in a voiceover or in a podcast, uh, this is how you do it. You bring yourself closer to the mic so you can trigger that proximity effect, which will add a lot more presence, a lot more body into your voice. Uh, that's just a tip. I'm back to where I was, which is two inches away from the mic. Let's now do a distance test. So I'm going to slowly move back and talk and see whether or not uh, the mic can still pick up my voice. So right now, I'm about 30 centimeters away from the mic. Test one, two, test one, two. I'm about 30 centimeters away from the mic. Now I am about half a meter away from the mic. I am about half a meter away from the mic. And now I am one meter away from the mic. And this is essentially social distancing going on. All right, so we are back at my default position, which is again two inches away from the mic. Let's now do a plosive test. This is to see how the mic handles your P's and your B's and your B and your T. Now, what's interesting about this mic is that it comes with its own pop filter. Right now, it is inserted, so the pop filter is there already. All right, so the pop filter is off. So right now, whatever audio that you are hearing right now is without the pop filter. Let me do a plosive test. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. 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 Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper. Oh God, I'm so going to be dreaming of Peter Piper when I sleep tonight. Now, let's do a comparison of this mic against some condenser mic. So I'm just going to read off again the one that I read off just now and then I'll be just switching mics along. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. And we are back from the test. It's an entirely new day. And I just listened to all the audio samples that I recorded just now. So my overall thoughts for an SGD 140 to 150 price point, I think it does really well when we were comparing with other condenser mics such as the Rode uh, NT-G1, no sorry, the Rode NT-1. I just have to say that the NT-1 does sound very noisy, especially on picking up the ambient noise. I totally did not expect that that mic to sound that bad, but I guess as we move on, we progress, it sounded not that good at all. Now back to this mic, I think one of its strength is that it makes you sound very natural. The highs, the mids and the bass, it's nicely tuned, especially on the treble, you cannot detect any over brightness or any super crazy sparkles and it's just nice, it's very tame. I, I think that's the word that I want to use. It's very tame. And the mids, there's this 
presence, uh, which makes you sound very broadcasty. And my voice, it is by default very bassy, but the mic, it doesn't accentuate the boominess of my voice. It kind of like make it just nice, just punchy on the bass, but it doesn't go beyond that. Yeah, it doesn't scale it down to a lower frequency to make my voice uh, alarmingly boomy in that sense. So if you are on the hunt for a condenser mic and you don't want to spend crazy amount of money over $200 SGD, I guess this is a mic for you. And call me crazy, but I totally dig the entire uh, aesthetics of the beekeeping bumblebee look on this mic. The yellow and black, well, although it is not for everyone, I, I totally love it. Uh, the only thing that I think could be better is the pop filter. Again, the function of a pop filter is to minimize all the plosives, all, all your P's and B's. Uh, but I think because of the design, because the pop filter and the mic module is so close to each other, it doesn't do a good job of blocking out that plosives, you know, the air that you puff out from saying B's and P's. Yeah, because of the design, it doesn't do that very well. I guess if it were to be a little bit more distance from the mic module, you know, that kind of range where the pop filter and the mic module is that far apart, I guess it would do a better job. Well, if you do get this mic and you are a very plosives person, it is not the end of the world because you can just get a separate pop filter and then just mount it in front of the mic module and problem solved. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you have found this video enjoyable and insightful. If you do enjoy this video, do hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button to be notified on a future video that we might post. Right, if you do get this mic, tell me how it is for you. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.